Hello, welcome, good evening, etc. Uh, yes, another um, album ranking. This is the second part of my, uh, I've given it a name now, Trinity of Awesomeness, three of my favourite bands. Um, the other day I did the um, Prodigy, um, who, have, who now have their atoll next door to my desert island where my discs are. And there's going to be another atoll close to that. Uh, with this uh, next band on, this is the band that are still going, still going strong. Chase and Status uh, from London. Um, I mentioned during my Lady Gaga um, rundown about perfection, and uh, so far uh, this is probably the most perfect band I've come across. They just um, only five albums so far, uh, lots of EPs and uh, remixes and. Um, Singles and stuff, but um, just absolutely brilliant. They haven't put a foot wrong. Um, they're only a new band, um, in the scheme of things. I think they got together around, I think, the 2003 they kind of met. I think uh, so it's a bit like the Chemical Brothers, they're a duo. Uh, Saul Milton, who is Chase, and Will Kennard, who is Status or Status, as they say in some parts of the world. Um, like the Chemical Brothers, they actually got together in Manchester. They're from London, uh, but they got together in Manchester at university. So, ooh, I could claim them as a Manchester band, uh, but uh, probably not. They're very London, very London based, very much into the London scene. Um, but yeah, I can say, uh, I think the first album came out two thousand eight. Uh, I think they released a few things since then. I, I do have some of their early stuff on vinyl, um, but. Five, uh, five superb albums. Um, just absolutely, I and mean, they're my favourite band of the moment. Um, I do, I do put that that phrase around quite a lot. Um, uh, but I think you know, everyone changes their their taste in music and everything. But for the last, um, the last gosh, six seven years, they've been top top of my top of my list of um, bands really. If you can come, I mean, the, the duo band, whatever. <clears throat> they're um, they do um, lots of great live. They're superb live acts as well. Uh, they do um, live shows and also DJ sets. Uh, I've not seen a DJ set though. I've been looking up to see their live shows where they're joined by uh, Andy Gangadine. Gangadine is that the correct pronunciation? On drums, superb drummer. Who oh, um, just uh, an amazing sight to see. He's got this amazing circular rig around his drum kit, which has all these symbols and bits on and stuff. It's just Amazing! It's like it's like a it's like a, a gymnasium or something. It's just incredible. And um, MC Rage, who's worked with them from the off, he's he's uh, quite often on with on stage with me. He's appeared on um, I think all the albums at some at some point. He's he's the, he's, he's almost a member of the band pretty much. But um, uh, can't remember his real name. MC Rage or just Rage? Who knows? Bit of a character, um, but yeah, just a superb, superb band. Um, and um, like I said, I mean, the Prodigy are in limbo. The other band who I'm going to do next uh, are finished. They've stopped. This band are still in full flow. They got. They've got, hopefully they've got many years ahead of them. Um, uh, so at the moment, I'm just doing their um, their uh, output as it stands uh, in 2020. So um, let's begin now. Um, uh, number five in this rundown. There's very little between these. Uh, each album is superb. I mean, um, they they've not put a foot wrong. There's not a, there's not a single moment of this these albums that I, I dislike at all or even question. They're just brilliant. Um, so we're gonna start off with number five, and this is an album that I um, got into. This is when I really really got into the band. Actually, this was the year I really got into them in 2013. Brand new machine. Uh, <laughs> bizarre cork thing with a face drawn on it um, yeah this is because um, I saw them on this tour and that's how that's when they're really you know when you see a band live then you, ooh, you go up a notch with them and think oh I'm crying I saw them I saw them the following year I didn't see them in 2013 I saw them um, in Spain of all places but um, yeah this was a fantastic album this is the first album I really got into by them it's actually a slightly mellower album than their other stuff the first two albums were, this was their third release their first two albums are hard out drum and bass because they have drum and bass. Oh, I forgot to mention that drum and bass dance. That's what it's all about. Um, uh, there and this had a, uh, lots of different um, sort of, lots of guests on here. Um, starts off starts off with a slow number. Gun Metal Grey gets in there, but uh, some, some really great stuff. You got Major Laser on here, Pusha T, um, Mako, 
Um, but the, the the track that I really gone to, they featured Ed Thomas on vocals, who I think appeared with them live when I saw them on a song called Black and Blue, which was a single, and um, that was one one single that I really got I really just got into. Unfortunately, they didn't they didn't that's a, no, they didn't play it live. That's right, they didn't play it live when I saw them. But uh, yeah, I really I really got into it. So maybe Ed Thomas wasn't with them on that on, on that night. But yeah, well, what a what a great great album this was, and um, even though it's only number five in my rundown, it's the bottom of the heap of five uh, of five. It's um, a superb album. Um, they did a Spotify track list um, for this um, leading up to the release uh, with um, acts that they'd they'd been listening to that inspired them for this. So you can see, oh, there's a lot of slow stuff and things like a uh, Massive Attack and uh, MJ Cole. Actually, MJ Cole. You can see the influence on Black and Blue, uh, really, for, for, um, from him. And so, yeah, you know, and Soul to Soul, people like that. So, um, there's obviously the, the, the older, the slower, kind of moodier kind of grooves. But, uh, yeah, anyway, brand new machine, Chasing Status, number five in my little rundown here. Okay, moving on to number four in my rundown. This was my album of the year when it came out 2017's Tribe. Absolute stunner of an album. Um, this was absolutely played to death. My boys are into uh, Chasing Status as well, um, big time. Um, uh, they, they, we're, it's great when a new when a new album comes out by the band. And we, I discussed it with them, and the whole favourite tracks this and the other. It's just that's really good, and everyone a bit of a playing it. But th- this was I was completely when this came out. She was just superb. Um, it was like listening to a greatest hits album all of a sudden. All of a, uh, every every track on this album could be a hit single. End of story. It's just brilliant. Um, starts off with uh, Big Man Skank. There's lot, lots, obviously lots of guests on this as well. Uh, Mr. Vegas is on it. Uh, Dub plate original. Kano. Uh, Kano's um, been with them on a couple of albums. Kano, brilliant. One of my favourite. Um, the economy is, is a grime artist or just a British hip hop artist? I don't know. Um, it's got a really, really unique delivery, a really unique sound. Um, Duplet original, just brilliant. Uh, now, Love Me More, third track in, is epic. I think that was a single, actually, featuring um, Emily Sande. Um, just what a you know, great, great vocalist. And that's just a superb song. Then you've got Step Away, uh, Reload, featuring Craig David. Oh, Craig David being... Uh, have you found a bit of... Um, I think this year, was it this year? You uh, had a little bit of renaissance. Oh, Craig David was back in the scene again. Everyone was listening to him. It was, uh, it was great, great fun. Uh, that's, uh, it's called, that's a pretty a pretty moody track, that quite, quite an eerie little track. It's really, really good. Uh, track six was um, my instant favourite track of this album, All Goes Wrong, featuring Tom Grennan. Tom Grennan, great vocalist. Um, that was just epic, absolutely epic. And um, I saw them on this tour. Actually, no, it, I tell you, like, it wasn't really this tour. This was um, I saw them the year before they released it, but they played a lot of stuff off this, including "All Goes Wrong" by Tom Grennan, who was there. He definitely was there and sang the same song. It was at the uh, Ali Pally in uh, North London, uh, in, just before Christmas. I remember, in a freezing cold <laughs> night, but what a what a night that was! It was just incredible. And um, Tribes is a good track, track seven, a bit of an instrumental. Um, you go, oh, you got, it's this song, I could just go on about all, all the tracks on this, it's just absolutely incredible. Blossoms feature on, on a track. Um, Slaves on another track called Control, which is really, really cool. But uh, yeah, great, 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 great album. Um, I struggle, I, it was a bit of a struggle to get this because it wasn't released in New Zealand and still hasn't been, as far as I know. So. Uh, Ended up buying it in the UK. Um, I bought it on uh, bought MPEG uh, at first. Um, I've been trying to find it on vinyl. I think it was released on vinyl on 10 inch, like a 10 inch double release or a limited edition release, but I've not seen it anywhere. But anyhow, number four in my Chase and Status Rundown uh, Tribe from 2017. Brilliant, brilliant um, album. As they all are, of course. Okay, number three, my uh, Chase and Status, Chase and Status rundown. Uh, their first album came out in. Um, actually, this came out in two thousand eight. More than a lot. I have got the. It's called More Than a Lot New Edition, which was a uh, re-release of it with a. I think I have three extra tracks on it. It came out in two thousand ten, but the original was two thousand eight. Brilliant! What a great start to their um, their um, discography, their um, catalogue. Can't get enough. What a great, great intro. It's a great start. I mean, um, 
I think I recommend if anyone's not heard or not really listened to Chasing Status, just listen to the whole the whole lot um, in chronological order, and this would be a great just a great start to it. Or Music Club second track in is brilliant, bit of comedy. Uh, I think it's oh damn who um, it's it's. It's like a guy. It's like based on a music club, like a guy teaching you how to do um, how to make a, a club banger. Um, ah, damn! Who is it that does the? I think it's Example. Yeah, the rapper Example does does the voice on it. He's like some. He, he sounds like he's got some, some. He's got a cold or something. He's going, oh, welcome to music club. Blah blah blah, and um, does this build up? It builds this song up, and it's just absolutely superb. It's really funny. So Kano's on here again. Actually, third track in Kano. Um, fantastic. Smash TV, great track, uh, where they sample Guns N' Roses, Welcome to the Jungle on that, which uh, really works well. Uh, Plan B is on here, a great song called Pieces. Uh, Plan B is um, collaborated with them a couple of times as well. Plan B, the uh, British rapper. Um, but it's just great. I mean, there's I mean, look, so many tracks on this. There's just chocker, chocker with uh, great tracks. Um I uh, just every single track is just incredible. Um, never known a band like them. Take you home. Um, the the three extra tracks on here. Saxon is the first one where they sample Metallica of all people, which is pretty good. Uh, Heartbeat in love, just oh, great, great, great songs. We've got a um, bit of a oh, it's a bit of a boring, uh, bit of a boring uh, sleeve inside there, but um, it's all about the music with Chase and Status. It's uh, just incredible, um, but yeah. Am I, time? am I saying the word incredible too much or amazing? There you go. Okay, number three in my Chase and Stages rundown. More than a lot. I'm trying to think of something else to say then, but no. Go and just go and listen to them. Okay, number two. This was my album of the year last year. I got some vinyl, so um, that's always good. Uh, Return to Jungle. Absolutely mega. This um, it's probably one of the best albums I've ever heard in my life. I just um, and the the story behind it is just uh, incredible. It's um, of course, Chase states like lots of um, dance acts do lots of samples, um, and uh, they were inspired by jung the jungle scene, which started in London in the nineties, which I, I remember I got into at the time. I think Goldie was probably the most high profile um, artist in in the genre. And this is kind of like a return to that because drum and bass kind of evolved from that. Um, I mean, they come, they, they do touch on uh, lots of different genres, like lots of trance and uh, in in tribe uh, the tribe albums, lots of different um, genres in there. They even even reggae and a bit of, bit of a uh, bit of house, all kinds of stuff. But with this, they're going back to their roots. Back to their, this is this a big tribute to their roots, really. And what they did was they, um, rather than start sampling all kinds of bits and pieces that was already available, they actually went to Jamaica and made their own um, their own tracks. They, um, they went to Jamaica <coughs> and uh, did some proper Jamaican dance hall tracks with local artists and some of the, um, I think mainly local artists really. And did I saw a documentary about it? They went out and made a doco about it, and it, I thought it was actually superb. And then they actually sampled their own tracks. I mean, how great is that? What, what you know, that's, that's like that's dedication to your art. It's just incredible. And uh, this album, when I first heard it, I just could not believe it. I thought, well, you know, it just came. I mean, I was expecting something great, obviously, because they just they hadn't put a foot wrong so far. This was their, um, their fifth album. This is the fifth, uh, the most recent one. Shut up, uh, featuring uh, Suku and General Levy on Heather. Original business. Uh, when I was talking about uh, me and my, me and the boys, um, my kids, and uh, talking about this when this came out, we all have the the, the favourite first track on the album that we thought like it was called "Delete," which is on side two on this with uh, Burrow Banton, um, and the, uh, that was one of the great parts of uh, the documentary, seeing him re record the song that they were going to sample for this, and it was just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Uh, Weed and Rum, great track. Um, I think the delete probably that's cool and crisp. And that with Natty Campbell. Just absolutely fantastic. And disaster at the end there. They sample um I think it's the either themselves or somebody um talking to the audience at at a rave or something or some kind of party. Saying we're gonna be here till we're not going anywhere, we're here till six. I'm not quite sure uh, it doesn't get a mention of where it's sampled from, but um 
just great, just because that whole great vibe is kind of nostalgic for me, uh, remembering the jungle scene and um, just getting back into it again. Um, but uh, I just, I just, I just couldn't believe the actual, the actual story behind it. I thought it was just so incredible, just really, 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 really nice story. And uh, since they released this, they, there's been two different um, kind of re uh, versions. They did the original, they, they released. Um, I haven't bought the physical copies. I've just been. Um, Streaming it, they've got the the original. It's called Rooted for Jungle Originals, where the original singles that they recorded are available. And then there's been a recent remix in collaboration with Fabric, the nightclub in um, London. I think it's near Smithfield. Uh, is it Smithfield or Farringdon in the Farringdon area? It's a fairly recent club. I've not been to it because I was like, it's a more a more recent club. But um, I'd like to go if you're still if you're still going. Although I know I know in the UK at the moment it's a bit uh, it's a bit quiet on the club scene, <laughs> what I've heard. But uh, yeah, so um, they've been pretty good to listen to as well. So it's kind of keeping the momentum of this going. But anyway, there you go. So what we got on the inside here? Ooh, cosmic! Look at that. Just great, great stuff. I uh, just, just love this band. Anyway, that's number two in my Chasing Status. Chasing Status. Rundown. Return to Jungle. Number one. Uh, I can remember one thing. No More Idols. Their um, second album from 2011. Um, absolutely brilliant. Um, top of the heap in the uh, Chasing Status Atoll near my desert island. And just brilliant. This um, really put them on the map, actually. Their, their, their first hit singles on this, End Credits, featuring Plan B again. I told you Plan B collaborated with them. Uh, I don't think Kano's on this. Uh, Tiny Tempers on this. Dizzy Rascal features on here. Uh, White Lies uh, on a track called Embrace. Uh, White Lies, the um, UK band. Um, who else is on here? Oh, Plan B's on two tracks on this with Rage. <laughs> oh, good old Rage. He gets in there. Uh, starts off with No Problem, which is an absolute classic, a live classic as well. Um, uh, uh, that is just brilliant. Uh, I saw them, um, when I saw them in, in the London gig that time, um, I've since seen us uh, on YouTube from the same concert. Someone uh, had filmed it <laughs> that night, and it kind of starts off okay with the intro, but it just it goes ballistic. The whole, the whole place comes a big swirl of... Arms and bodies, and all. that's just incredible, absolutely incredible. Uh, Fire in Your Eyes, that's a great track. Uh, Blind Faith, fourth track in uh, with Liam Bailey. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Uh, when I saw them in Spain, actually, that was the highlight of the show for me in some ways. Well, not, it's not so much dance, it's just a great, uplifting um, song, everyone got into it. And it was uh, people on shoulder, people on each other's shoulders singing along, arms waving, arms aloft, that kind of thing. It's really, really good. Um, Fool Yourself, another great track. That's one, oh, that's the one with Plan B and Rage. That's from uh, just brilliant. Oak Spot. And, uh, oh, yeah, who else is on there? Uh, CeeLo Green's on this. Brixton Briefcase. Fantastic track with CeeLo Green. Um, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So, yeah, anyway, there. I think oh, this, has got, this has got good sh some good shots in here. So I'll just show you the, show you the liners on this. There's MC Rage in the middle, putting the boot in. Jason Dad's looking a bit young there, and some little dog down the bottom. But uh, I'll just leave this show in the middle. Um, shows them live. Don't know where they are. Somewhere live. That's absolutely brilliant. Uh, it's kind of. Um, oh, it's brilliant. Great band. Can't. Can't say enough about them. Um, so there you go. That's my um, Chasing Status rundown. It will change. Um, because I'll be more added to it, hopefully. You know, I mean, um, I'm sure they've still got many years in them now. I mean, they've been around, what was it, 2003? Well, 2008 was their first uh, release. So, you know, plenty of time, lots of more. They're only youngsters. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, there, there you go. That's, um, in fact, actually, that No More Idols was the it's, it's, uh, it's not this that well known, but it was the second biggest selling British album in the UK uh, in its year so there you go there are a lot of Chase and Status fans out there so there you go that was part two of my uh, trinity of awesomeness Chase and Status what a band um, 
there'll be more from them. And uh, yeah, I'll be finishing this Trinity off, or Trilogy, or what you want to call it. Um, tomorrow, I think, yeah, I got a bit delayed yesterday. I went out to a concert, so uh, I skipped today. I was too tired. Um, so, yeah, okay, there you go, Ash from London. That's my Chaser Status rundown of their, uh, the album rankings. So, um, thank you for being there. Hope you enjoyed that. And so, go out and listen to some Chaser Status now. Right now. Bye for now. <laughs>